Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, we can't lose. I want to report to you, friends, that my imprisonment here has had the opposite of its intended effect. Instead of being squashed, the message has actually prospered. Philippians 1, 12. When I read the words, my imprisonment here has had the opposite of its intended effect. One can't help but show to joy. And that's not all. Listen. Not only that, but most of the Christians here have become far more sure of themselves in the faith than ever, speaking out fearlessly about God. Philippians 1.14 The devil thought that by locking Paul up, he could shut him up. But instead, Paul started writing the books that would change the world. Satan thought by imprisoning him would intimidate all the other Christians in town. But instead, it ignited them. And to make matters worse, they changed Paul's guards every few hours and chained him to another two Roman soldiers. That's what you call a captive audience. Every few hours, two new converts would leave and two new prospects would arrive until there were saints in the household of Caesar. Philippians 4.22 Finally, they decided the only thing they could do was to kill Paul. Kill what? They could destroy the shell, but they couldn't lay a finger on the treasure. Listen again. They didn't shut me up. They gave me a pulpit. Alive, I am Christ's messenger. Dead, I am his bounty. Life versus even more life. I can't lose. Philippians 1, 23. The thought for today. Rejoice, child of God. We're on the winning side today. You can't lose. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.